Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to get the sewer pipe badge in my group dinner on Roblox. Let's get started. So in order to get the sewer pipe area, you want to head over to where I go. So once you're here, you should be able to reach the rat sewer area, and you will actually need 100 chicken legs to actually open up this area. So if you don't have 100 chicken legs yet, I would just walk around the map until you collect 100, and then you should be able to come back here and unlock this area. But once you have this area unlocked, you can go inside, and you should be in the rat sewers. So over here, once you're in the rat sewers, you want to keep going straight forward until you reach the end of this platform. And then once you're at the end of this platform right over here, if you notice in front of you, there is this cheese vault, and you, there is a little platform that you need to activate, and you need to put a cheese on there. So in order to get the cheese, you want to go over here on the left side, and basically continue on this platform as normal until you do reach the cheese. So over here, once you reach the wooden planks, you can go ahead and cross that and then jump over this area and then jump over this gap once again. And the sewer pipe they will need to open is this one over here on the left side. If you notice, there's this little ticket in there and it has a blue light on top of it and that'll be important for later. Right over here, once you make it to the other side of this plank, there should be the cheese right over here. And you can just jump across to this area because it is easier that way. But once you have this cheese, you can pick it up and then bring it over to the other area. But once you hold the cheese, you can't actually hover or roll, so you will need to take it a long way to actually actually get back to the spawn area. So over here, once you make it back to the spawn area, you can bring it across now, and then on this platform you can drop the cheese, and the door should open up right over here. The ones in this new room right over here, you should notice that there is this blue light with the door over here. And you can't open it right now, but you will be able to open it at a later point. Right over here, this cheese in front of you, you want to pick it up and then put it on the platform that is right over here. So right over here, now that both cheeses are here, you can actually leave one, and the door will still be open. So you can just take the first one that you put down at the start, and then take it with you right over here. And the ones in this new area, you want continue on this path with the cheese that you have from the start. Then right over here, you want to continue along there and jump across these planks, and then in this area, you want to turn left right over here. Then once you keep going, there should be another door with a cheese platform right over here, and you can just drop the cheese on this platform, and the door should open up. Now once you're over here, there is another piece of cheese, but you just want to ignore this one for now. And then right over here, you want to jump up and hover across to this new area. The ones are at this new area right over here, there should be another door with a platform, and if you notice, there are two actually button activators. The first one is over here, and the second one is actually right over there. So you will need two pieces of cheese to actually open this door. So once you're here, you want to continue along this path right over here, jumping across until you do make it to a green lever. So right over here, as you continue along the path, you want to go on this left side and keep going straight forward until you reach this green lever on the end. Now once you reach this green lever, if you notice there are some levers with specific lights right over here, and activating the lever with light will activate a couple of platforms. So right over here, if I activate the green lever, the green platforms will go up, and that will be the same for the others. There is a red one, and once again, the sewers that we were at the beginning has a blue one, so we will need to reach a blue lever. But once you get that green platform up, you will need to make sure the green lever is down right over here, so that the platform right above is actually a lower right over there. So once that green platform is below, you can continue on the left side over here, and then make your way towards that platform. You can jump up and hover until you reach this higher area. So over here, once you're at the green platform they just lowered, you can go ahead and fly to it and then fly to this red lever. So once you're at this red lever, that platform that's in the back right over there should lower and then you should be able to carry a piece of cheese along it. So over here, you can just drop back down to where you were at the start and make your way back to the door. So now once you're back at the door, you actually want to come back to the cheeses right over there so you can bring one across. But right over here, if you notice, there are actually two pieces of cheese and then two platforms. But if you carry this one, this door will close and you will not be able to get in here. So you will actually need to go back to the spawn area where you do have the third piece of cheese and then use that one for one of the platforms. So right over here you can carry this cheese right over here. It will close the spawn door but you will be able to open this door at the end. So now you can just carry this cheese back to where the door was. So right over here once again you want to turn left and they should be back at where the cheeses were. So right over here you can just ignore them for now and then make your way back to this platform with the door in front of it. So right over here once you have the cheese you can drop it and that should be the first one done. Now it has lit up as green. So once you put that one down you actually want to go back for the second one now and then bring it over to this area. So once you're back at the cheeses, you can take this one with you and then bring it over to the door area. Now once you have the door right over here, you can just drop this one for now because you can't do anything with it yet. And then once you're back here, you want to actually go back to the green lever so that these platforms can go up. So once you're at the green lever right over here, you want to press the lever once again and then these platforms should now go up, letting you cross with the cheese. So once you activated those, you can go back to the cheese that you placed down and then bring it across these platforms. So over here, once you have the cheese, you can pick it up and then bring it across these platforms until you reach the green lever area. So over here, once you're at the green lever area, you want to go on the left side once again, and then carry the cheese up until you reach this higher platform up here. Now once you're at this higher platform right over here, if you turn left, you should find the second cheese platform on the opposite side. But this platform is down right over here, so you can't actually take it across right now. So you would just need to drop the cheese, 
and then make your way back to the green lever to activate this platform so that you can reach the red lever. So over here you can just drop down and hover back to the green lever. So now once you activate the green lever, this platform should drop down letting you go to the red lever once again. So over here now you can just make your way back up to where that green platform just dropped down and then float over to where the red lever is located. So once you're here the red lever, if you use it, this platform should go up right over here letting you take the cheese across to the platform. So once you back at the cheese, you can pick it up and then go across until you reach this platform right over here. Then once you drop this cheese on the platform, the door should now open up and you can just float back to that door area right over here. So once you're back at the door right over here, you can keep moving straight forward until you reach this cheese room. And even though this might look like the end, if you look up towards the top left, you should find another blue light. And that is actually where the blue lever is located. So the easiest way I would say to get up here is way on the right side and using these pipes to get up to the area where this blue lever is located. So once you're up these planks, you can just keep going across until you reach that blue lever on the other side. So over here, once you reach the blue lever, you can pull it and then the sewer gate should open and also the door of the spawn should open up. So now you can just make your way back all the way to the spawn area where that blue door was located. So over here, as the blue door is open now, you can just enter it right over here and then the sewer should be open as well. So you just want to cross until you get close enough to the sewer area where you can actually float up and then grab it. So over here, I recommend using this ledge that is next to the sewers and then while jumping up to where this sewer is located. So once you're up here, you can go ahead and grab the ticket and that should be the sewer pipe ticket done. So yeah, that was a pretty long one, but hopefully this video is helpful to you guys and you're gonna get the sewer pipe ticket in my way of dinner. So yeah, that is much video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.